What's up guys? Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we are talking about collies and if you're new here, I've been doing this mini series on my channel where I learn about different dog breeds and practice some digital painting. So if you like painting and you like dogs and you like learning new things, then definitely stick around and let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get it started. Collies are known for their fame in pop culture throughout the years and have become the world's most recognizable breed, especially the rough collie, which is the one I am painting today. There are two different varieties of collie, the full coated rough collie and the sleek smooth collie which I also love. They have a wedge shaped head and almond eyes which make them a unique looking dog. Although border collies and Shetland sheepdogs have similar characteristics, markings and even facial features, they are actually a completely different breed. Collies are famously great with children and make amazing family pets and they can weigh anywhere from 50 to 70 pounds. They require regular exercise such as daily runs or long walks, and at minimum they should have 45 minutes of daily activity. When a rough collie is bored, they will certainly let you know as they can become quite vocal when they're not properly stimulated. Collies are very smart and learn quickly, making them easy to train. However, they are prone to nipping since this is an instinct that they have developed to help them herd sheep, so it's important to teach them from a young age not to nip at your children's heels. It was interesting to learn that the rough collie not only bonds with one person, rather they learn the characteristics of each person in their household and they actually form behaviors specified to each person's characteristics. So if you let them get away with something, then they'll know who you are and they'll come back to you to let them get away with that again. They were originally used as herding dogs in Scotland and Northern England, and in 1860, Queen Victoria gave them public attention and they became the wealthy upper class favorite breed. By the 1950s, the breed gained even more popularity as the American symbol for a family dog in the television show Lassie and... I mean, who looks at this dog and doesn't think of Lassie? Today, the Rough Collie is among the top 50 most popular breeds, and some of it is due to that television show. When Collies are working on herding sheep, their tail hangs low between their legs and it keeps it from getting nipped or stepped on by the herd. Once the herd has been gathered, the tail will go back up, letting their owners know that the job has been completed. Not only that, their tail is designed, much like the beagle, to have a bright white hue nicknamed the shepherd's lantern, which makes it easy to spot them in low light conditions. I had a lot of fun painting this one. It was very hard to get the fur correct and like the texture of the fur correctly. So it was quite a challenge, but I actually had a lot of fun doing this one. And yeah, I learned a lot about collies that I had no idea about, other than the fact that every collie that I've ever seen, I've probably called a lassie dog. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you learned something too. So this is what I came up with for this painting today. And I decided to add a little sheep on the side and I added a lantern to represent their tail and the shepherd's lantern nickname and also just a little map of Scotland at the bottom. And yeah, it was a lot of fun painting this one. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you have a collie, I would love to know your experience with the breed down below. And if you have suggestions for the next dogs coming up, which are letters D and E, then definitely leave it down below and I'll try to do the dog that you guys really wanna see. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing so you can hang out with me more often. And I'll see you guys on the next Two Minute Tuesday. Bye.